Welcome back everybody, Patrick here. And in this question, we have to find h prime two given h of x equals f of g of x, f of u is equal to two u cubed minus two u, g of two is three, and g prime two is four. This question is fairly difficult and it's one that I've seen come up on tests pretty frequently, so I thought I would include it. So notice that we have to find h prime two so the derivative of h at an x value of two when h of x is equal to f of g of x. Well, let's just write out h of x equaling f of g of x. And notice how we're gonna have to find the derivative of h of x. So notice this is very general notation, but notice that h of x is a composite function. It's basically a function g of x within another function f of that function. So we know to find the derivative of h of x, we're gonna have to use the chain rule. And in general, what do we do? We take the derivative of the outer function first, keeping the inner function the same, and then we multiply it by the derivative of the inner function, like that. So now, since we have h of prime x or a expression for it, we can find an expression for h of prime two. So we would just plug in two for all the x values. So we'd have f prime g of two times g prime of two. And notice that g prime of two and g of two is given. g prime of two we know is four, and we know g of two is three. So we can rewrite this as f prime of three times g prime of two is just four. Now the question is, how do we find a value for f prime of three? Well, notice that the function f we're given here. So we know that f of u is gonna be two u cubed minus two u. So we know the derivative of f is gonna be six u squared minus two. Like that. So we can find what f prime of 3 is by just plugging in 3 for the u values in the derivative. So 3 squared is 9 times 6 is 54 minus 2 gives us 52. So we know f prime of 3 is equal to 52. So this expression f prime of 3 here is 52 and then we just have to multiply it by four, which gives us 208. So that there is your final answer for h prime of two.